Good morning. Welcome to the Robert Breakfast Show. Our top stories this morning. The local Godman grocery, Godman Local, is currently being investigated after a man made an armed robbery on it around about 9 o'clock last night. He is currently being held in custody. Godman's local coffee shop, Nero's, is also an investigation after a bunch of youths ran in last week and raided the shop. They smashed tables and everyone's food and everyone was left in shop. The high-speed train is being commissioned between London and Birmingham. We will be interviewing the public of Godalming and what they think about that later. And also, we'll be chatting to you at Aaron's Escape Parks about the new ramps. One of the employees of the local shop, Godalming Local, has been left... Over to our home affairs correspondent, Ruben Pullyfat. We are just outside the scene of the crime when Mickey Budinger, Godaming Local's only employee, was brutally maimed by hooded teens. Follow me. Here is the scene of terror. This is the scene of the crime. The youths ran through that door and through the shop over to this corner over here. It is here where the act of terror was committed. They picked up necessities, put it in their bag, and finished it off with a good old beating of Mickey. Here is where the bullet hole hit. Mickey was lucky enough to escape death, but it was a close call. They used a gun and took what they needed. It would appear they took Sun Path peanut butter. wish Mickey all the best in hospital. He's in a stable condition, but needs all the help he can get. Back to you in the studio. Thank you for that report, Ruben. Now for our next story. Popular coffee shop, Cafe Nero, known worldwide and used by hundreds every day in Godalming, has been is currently under investigation after a gang of hooded hooligans raided and trashed the, sh trashed the coffee shop. Godalming girls have been left stunned by outrageous behaviour and now have to resort to the scum of Costa Coffee while the investigation is taking place. Now over to Ruben who has sprinted down the, t down the high street to get to us on time. Here I am in Cafe Nero in Godalming. This is the scene of the conundrum. On Tuesday the 21st of January, six youths came in the shop and bomba bombarded the place. Cups were upturned and they've been generally rowdy. The, the scene is currently under, un in under investigation and they will be brought to justice. The youths went in through that entrance. They ran through the first half, knocking over tables, spilling drinks and upturning plates. This is the route they took. They went up that staircase. Ragged it down here until eventually they made it down there. Liam Wood, a 13 year old boy from the Guildford area, has suddenly died after suffering from a seizure during one of his weekly football games once he's got a wonderful goal. Liam suddenly started to have a seizure moments after scoring his glorious goal in a 5 0 win for his long loved city, Guildford. His parents have bravely joined us in the studio tonight to interview, us, to interview them. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Wood. Good morning. So, thank you for joining us in the studio. Thank you for having us. Don't worry. So, how did you feel in the following days after Liam's death? I felt I was sick with just devastation. I, I saw the game, I saw it with my own two eyes. I saw my son die in front of me. There's one less place at the table, but there's one more tear in my eye. Yeah, it was what I went to at home. It's like, yeah, mm. our heart's broken. I couldn't believe it. We're sad to hear about this. You must mm. feel terrible. Absolutely awful. Yeah. Anyway, you were both at the game, so can you tell us what happened? Well, he scored a cracker of a goal. So it was a stonker. It was, and then he, uh, he was celebrating. He ran away, like, out the pitch, celebrating, and now 
and then fell on the floor. Yeah. And um, died right there. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for having us. Don't worry. We must be off. Bye. Toodaloo. Bye. All right, yeah. We are here in Superdrug, where Iskla has got a new bottle. Would no you way. believe it? <laughs> no. Oh my god, a new bottle! <laughs> I Wait, must buy it! Let's interview this man. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel about the new bottle of Iskla? <laughs> <laughs> As I'm sure you've heard already, there will be a new high-speed train rail being built between London and Birmingham. We have sent over our correspondent to ask people in the town of Godding about what they think. But first, what do you think, Zach? Well, I think I think it's a good idea, actually. It will help save people's money and time, and also it will help, help boost the economy. Okay, sounds great. Over to Johnny and the residents of Godding. Here we are at one of the stations that the new high-speed train is going to stop at. There's mixed opinions on whether this is a good or bad service for the country. We're about to ask frequent users about what they believe about the new train. Hello. Okay. Okay, so what are your feelings on the London to Birmingham high-speed train? I don't think it's particularly necessary. Um, really? There's the, the cost involved is massive. Really? Um, yeah. I think we should be spending more money on the rail infrastructure that we've okay. already got. And uh, on, on that being improved, because uh, the prices are going up for weekly commuters all the time. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. And, uh, so, what do you think about the London to Birmingham high-speed train? Well, I, th I think it's unnecessary. Uh, right. sh money should be spent better on uh, hospitals and education. Right. Oh, hi. What's your thoughts on the high-speed train? Um, total disgrace. Oh, okay. High speed train what? Arons Hill Skate Park is undergoing a new replacement of the ramp. We have the team manager, Johnny Ford, to join us in the studio today to talk to us more about this. So, so, Johnny, why did you decide to put some new ramps in this popular skate park? Well, all the kids wanted the ramp for the last three, four years, I think. And yeah, so we decided we'd help out with them. and gives them the opportunity to have these new ramps. So can you tell us more about the cost that is involved in this and how they will get it? Well, they'll cost roughly between £8,000 and uh, yeah, they're going, doing lots of fundraising for them. Help the children of, of our town? I don't think it will help it might help the community, but I think it'll probably get the kids into something that they can do and have fun with. And yeah, the kids will love them, learn new tricks and learn stuff like that. Sorry, it seems as my phone isn't on silent. And also, so um, will it keep the kids off the street, which is also a big topic for lots of um people who live residents of Birmingham. Yeah, yeah, the <coughs> the the elderly people will be happy that they're not going around demolishing plants and stuff around their houses and stuff like that. I see you mean. Anyway, thank you very much John, I hope your project yeah. all goes well. Thank you. We're at Rockwell School today to see the talent of young budding basketball player Johnny Ford. But only at the age of 13 has he got a try for LA Lakers. They say that by the time he reaches the professional level at 16, he will be getting paid £10,000 a week. That's a lot of money for a child at that age. Here we're going to talk to him about what he'll do the money and how excited he is to have a tryout for LA Acres. Let's go over. Hey John, do you, you don't mind if we have a little interview with you? No, no. Oh, we've heard from your school that you've had a, a tryout for LA Lakers. Yeah, it went quite well, yeah. Do, do you think you've got into the team? Yeah, it went quite well. The other players there were... About my standard, so it's going to be quite tough. But well, I'm sure that I can do it. I'm sure, they must be extremely good to be at your standard. And we've seen here that you're a very good basketball player. We hear that you, uh, when if you re if you get into the team and at 16 when you reach the professional team, you'll be getting paid 10,000 pounds a week. I oh, know that's crazy, isn't it? What What do you plan to do with this money? Would you live? Because of course you'd have to live out in America because that's where the LA Lakers yeah. are. But what would you do? Give quite a lot of it to charity. It's quite a charity person. But yeah, 
be quite happy with my life. I mean, that amount of money a week go to a lot of your college funds, I guess. Yeah. Because you know, you'd be starting college by the time you join. Would you do you plan to do any other GCSEs in the school after you, if you get into the professional team? Oh, I'd like to do a degree in maths, actually. So. That's always a good idea yeah. to have something to fall back on. I mean, after you do your college funds and after you finish college, what are you going to give it to the family? Are you going to buy a big house? What are you going to do? What do you plan to do with all this I, money? I plan to uh, move my family out to America. That so, sounds yeah. great. Here you can see, I'm with Johnny Ford again, and we're going to have a little penalty shootout. Now, obviously, this boy's had tryouts for LA's Lakers and he might get through. I've never had a tryout in my life. I was always picked last at school, so we're going to completely humiliate me in front of TV, in front of all you loving people. Should we do it from the two-pointer or the three-pointer? Okay, I'll do it from the two-pointer because I'm a bit uh, rusty, I'd say. Oh. See what I mean? Never ever picked for school. Oh dear, it's not going to go well for me. <laughs> I'm scared I'm losing to a, a good sportsman. Oh. As you can see, it's very cold. The ground is pretty much rock solid. Even though the sun is out, I suggest you wear hats, coats and scarves. For more detailed updates. Hello. In today's weather, we'll start off in the southwest of England. Here in Cornwall, there's a very strong chance of rain, so I suggest you take your bodies out. Moving north up to southern Wales, there is a chance of rain, but also a chance of rain and sun. So definitely take your bodies out just in case. Moving east into central London, there will be sun, and also coming up to Norwich, there will be sun. Starting in, sorry, starting in central England, there is again more rain. So definitely, definitely don't forget your rollies or you'll be coming home soaking wet. Moving into Northern Ireland, again there's more rain, and then up into Scotland, there's a severe chance of snow, so definitely I would plan to get plenty of food, make sure you're all stocked up for the weekend. This is caused by the low pressure coming in from Iceland. So as you can see, it's covering most of central England and Northern Ireland. As later on into Wednesday night, it should cover the whole of England. So I would suggest, sorry about the interruption, I suggest that you all get stocked up for the weekend as there will probably be snow on Thursday. And also a severe weather warning for the northern parts of England and the central parts of England. I saw a Scottish wonderful girl and then 